Okay, so this is going to be on part two. So what I'm hoping to do is just go through the individual pages that I've laid out. So what I want to do is just show you very quickly through the pages that I have. So this is obviously the overview page. This is the page that we have loaded up all the time on one of our iPads. It gives you a very good idea. You then may want more depth. So it's been a windy day. You want to know what are your watts, what's your voltage, amperage, um, and more importantly, are you drawing in or are you consuming from your battery bank? And also where, where the break-even point is. Um, more importantly, as you understand with wind turbines, you have to get over what your battery voltage is. Um, before it will actually start to draw any watts down and that's if you decide to go and hook it up directly to your batteries most people there's lots of different ways you can go from um, DC at the wind turbine and then convert it to AC using an inverter on SMA Sunny Boys uh, uh, SMA Sunny Islands then you can convert that AC feed it into your own grid line um, or consume it back again okay so let's just take for the instance that what you want to look at is not so much the inverters okay you just want to know the wind turbine at the raw so wind turbine as i said before is a three phase um, wild ac is what they call it and then you use a rectifier it converts it into a dc um, standard wave format so we have standard 48 volt micro wind turbines so we have three of them and you connect all of them in parallel you put your blocking diodes etc in so really all this is looking at is what is the wind turbine producing not how is the energy inverted and then pushed into AC we, we don't want to know all of that all we want to know is how are they doing so when your wind turbine states of uh, you know, uh, 500 watts, 600 watts. Is it actually doing 500, 600 watts, or is it? Uh, is it? Can it only do 200 or 100 watts? You know, there's so many fakes out there. So, this kind of collated data is basically what it is is done for. It's to take the raw data stream um, from the wind turbine. So we have something that is very, very usable data. Um, you know for 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 what we want to look at and in real time so what you're looking at is something that has a refresh rate of one second as well so this was the other part of the criteria we wanted to know in the moment in that second and then have that data logged so you can see at the bottom there is um, all the wind turbines it gives me the peaks its troughs its falls it's telling me as well what my kilowatt hours are just for the wind turbine per day <coughs> excuse me and over the duration of the day um, you know I can look down and say well at 6 a.m. the production was uh, next to nothing at 136 watts however you can see you know there's already been peaks at 1700 um, you know, obviously we had uh, much larger peaks in excess of uh, 2,400 watts. So, you know, bearing in mind we just had a storm. So it, it's giving you that raw data source again. So this is something that doesn't even exist. Um, it's, it's not out there. There, there is no PC web-based anything straight off the shelf that you can buy. So this was one of my bigger problems with regards to wind turbines um i i'm sure that probably yeah i'm sure somebody else will get up there and say yes there is but by the time you spend so much money on one item to do one job only like say a victron shunt or something you you it, it can only do one task that's that would be another screen which i didn't want to go down the route of okay all right i think that's pretty much it on the wind turbine so I'll do another one uh, as I work my way through.